Hey class, it's Mr. Hammond. Today we're going to be looking at ecological relationships, but the one we're going to be focus, focusing on is uh, symbiosis. So at the top of your page, go ahead and write symbiosis. Just as a reminder, I'm using a black Sharpie, but I'm going to ask that you don't use a pencil so you can make corrections as you go. I'm just doing this because I want you to be able to see things a little more easily. Draw a black line at the very top blue line, and then you're going to fold your paper in half. That's going to help you find the center of the page. And draw a line down the center of the page. Starting at that black line all the way down. And now I'm going to divide it up into three rows. To do that, I'm going to count the number of uh, lines I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So about 24, so 24 divided by 3 is 8, so every 8 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Draw a line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Draw a line. Okay, cool. So on this side, we're going to be taking notes. On this side, is going to be part of your homework. Um, the first type of symbiotic relationship we'll look at is mutualism. Now, a symbiotic relationship, just let me take a step back here, is any relationship between two species, two, different, two or more different species, in which um, they work together to get their needs met. Now, they can arrive in three different ways. Uh, the first one's called mutualism. And you can look at this as a more positive type of symbiosis. That's where both of the species benefit. It's a relationship between two different organisms of different species, and working together, they both get their needs met. So in this case, we're going to give a happy face and a happy face, because both species are getting their needs met. A sea anemone and a clownfish have a mutualistic relationship. The clownfish, um, when it gets rid of its waste, its waste product is actually used by the sea anemone uh, for nutrients. At the same time, the clownfish lives in the anemone, and the anemone allows it some sense of protection from predators. So they both benefit from being with one another. So <clears throat> that would be an example of a mutualistic relationship because the sea anemone and the clownfish are both working towards the benefit of each other. Now another type is called commensalism. And in true fashion, let me double check my spelling of that guy. Taking a while to pull my computer up here. Cool. I want to make sure I thought there were two M's, but it's always good to check. Commensalism. In this case, one species benefits, and the other doesn't care. Okay, so in this case you have two different species. One is kind of getting something from the other, but the other one, it doesn't bother them. It doesn't hurt um, or harm them in any way. So in this case, you have one species is benefiting. Make our smiley face, woohoo, benefit. And there are species who it just doesn't affect. An example of this would be barnacles and whales. Barnacles grow on the sides of whales. It does not bother or hurt or harm the whale in any way. But the barnacle benefits because they get their food 
uh, by filtering uh, organisms out of the water. So as that whale swims along through the ocean, that particle is able to suck the nutrients out of the water and it gets a free ride. So it's an example of, of um, commensalism. The last type is parasitism. Parasitism has the word parasite, as you can hear in it. I feel like it's the one that most kids know about. This is where one species benefits. And the other is hurt. So in this case, as you can imagine, we're going to go ahead and draw a happy face down here. And then we're going to draw a sad face, but he's going to have a chunk taken out of him. So here we have our happy face. Yay, I'm benefiting. And this guy is missing an eye, and he's sad because he got a bite taken out of him. Okay, so... Benefit, benefit is going to be mutualism. Both benefit. It's a mutual um, agreement. Commensalism, one benefits, one doesn't care. And parasitism, one benefits, and one is actually harmed. Now, for your homework, what I'd like you to do is go through, and I'd like you to find an example uh, for each type of symbiosis that we have here on the Internet. Um, I'm going to take my whale barnacle idea, and I'd like you to kind of like illustrate and describe it, or you can just go ahead and write a short little like couple sentences about it. That's fine too. Please don't just write down the names of the organisms and call it a day. Give us a description or explain it. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a picture of a whale. So you know me, I like to draw. So for me, it's a way of me connecting. Some of you are that way. Some of you are not. That's why if you'd rather just... There's the water coming out. Boosh. And then here's the whale's tail. There we go. I'll put a mouth on the guy. There we are. Here are the barnacles growing on the sides of his face. Here's his eyes. He's a tired whale because he's been swimming a long time today. Okay. Um, so here's my whale. It says, is not harmed. And then for over here, I'm going to say the barnacles. Barnacles, um, uh, they benefit. By being transported through ocean. To collect food. So that's how these guys benefit. And that's how these guys do not care. It does not harm the whale in any way. So that's my example. Whale and barnacles. Okay, so you can't use that one, but you can come up with your own three. And again, you can just write sentences or you can draw a picture and add words. It's kind of what's up to you. And if you'd like to go so far as to color it, you know me. I always think that's a good thing. All right, guys, thanks so much for doing this. And I look forward to finding out what you discover.